So recently we put out a survey asking you what you wanted to see on our channel and you told us that you wanted to see more unique accommodations. So tonight we're doing just that by trading our camper van for this train car. So we're a little ways from the caboose. It's right there, but we have to park all the way down here because the tree branches are too low. They're gonna scrape the top of our van and our solar panels. But we're here, let's go. There's a hammock. Okay, this is cool. Come here, Catherine. Hot tub. Do you see it? Hot, hot tub. We love hot tubs. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. This is so freaking cool. Look at this. I'm in awe at like how well they did converting this. Cause I'm sure it didn't look like this before. Oh yeah. You have a little table and a kitchen. I just want to open like all of these little doors. Got a little mirror and an outlet and all just storage space. Oh, nice. There's so much space. There's like a whole kitchen, a fridge. Look at that. Ooh. What is that? Ooh, it's coffee creamer. That's going to be useful in the morning. And there's a table. The sweetest little table. Okay, I love this. Hold on, I'm gonna open these. Got our plates and cups and mugs. Uh, big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Coffee, coffee maker. Whenever we go to like a new place, I like have to open all the drawers and all the cabinets just to see what's inside. Knives, spatulas, cheese and wine cork and lighter. Mm, grabbers. Grabber. Sink, cleaning, drying rack, trash can. What is that? Like a toaster, toaster oven, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, there's a whole mirror for you to get ready. Oh, this is the bathroom. Nice. Oh, you get a window, a window seat. <laughs> that is so cool. Do not flush the toilet when the train is in station. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. You could like sit at the desk or read in this little reading nook. This is. This is just the coolest. Oh my gosh. What's in these? I don't know. Oh, this one's They're locked. locked. That's this the fire locked. extinguisher. There is a fire extinguisher in there and there's a blow dryer and iron and box fan and heater. This is huge. This could be like somebody's room. Look at this. I mean, all the way in here. Whoa. Are you exploring yeah. without me? No. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I was just looking in this closet. What's in there? There's uh, some hangers and a quilt and a pillow. If you're gonna stay here for a few days, you can put your suitcase in there. Get it out of the way, that's awesome. Oh, it's a different atmosphere up here. It's much warmer. Oh, there's stuff up there. You have to go up there. What? Ooh, this is cool. There's a Bible, and then there's several books about trains. This is awesome. I would spend all of my time up here. I'm gonna have to read up here. Relax before we leave here. Like, enjoy a cup of coffee, just kick your feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just kick your feet up and just relax. I'm not having the best of luck getting down. Okay, there we go. That's good. Woo! <sighs> I made it. <laughs> I hate going down those. Okay, first things first. Yes, this is the caboose. Uh, we're gonna stop the train at the next station. So if everybody would please put your tray tables up, put your seats in the upright position and uh, prepare for landing. I'm sure I just made that public address like on a loudspeaker outside somewhere and everyone's like, what an idiot. This is the bedroom slash shower room. Hope you're close to the people you stay with because they'll watch you shower. <gasps> chocolates for us that is cool that is so sweet the windows are stained glass but this bed 
It's so comfy. I like this a lot. This is a soft bed. Okay, more things though. Why would you stay in a hotel when you can stay here in this train car? We've been here for like two minutes. Mary Catherine's eating the chocolate already. It's true. What kind of chocolate is it? If this is Dove Milk chocolate, it's gonna be great. Hands are meant to be held. That's the quote on the inside. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Delicious. They know the way to Mary Catherine's heart already. Been here for two minutes. Chocolate makes me happy. <laughs> Let's see what's in this cabinet. It looks like the perfect place for a TV. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, and movies. How to lose a guy in 10 days. Oh, great. The Bachelorette, Balls of Fury, Laughing Out Loud, Midnight in Paris, and something with Jamie Foxx. Oh, there's more. Oh. I've never heard of any of those. Okay. There is an air conditioner, by the way. right to the to the hot tub Ooh! wow this is amazing i am so excited <gasps> oh Look yes at that. oh yes getting in that asap one of like the main criteria of us like when we try to stay in an airbnb or a resort or a hotel when we're going on vacation is does it have one of those? When we stayed in that cabin in Tennessee for your birthday, I searched for an Airbnb by the criteria that it had to have a hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like the over the top thing that makes it so relaxing and just perfect. Yes. I love it. Nice table and chairs. We can eat dinner out here. And charcoal grill? Yep. Ooh. We didn't bring any charcoal, so. We did not, so we won't be grilling, yeah. but. Look at this birdhouse. This is like the fanciest birdhouse that I've ever seen in my life. That is really fancy. This is our home. At least for the next night. I know. Okay, let's get settled in. It's a little chilly right now, but I'm excited to get in. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> yes. I love hot tubs so much. Yeah. All right, we're gonna enjoy the hot tub until the sun goes down, and then we're just gonna go to sleep. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Staying in unique places is one of my favorite things about the 50 States tour. Just like getting to experience a whole new way of living just by changing where you're living at night. So for example, if you're taking a family trip to Eureka Springs and you choose to stay in this train car versus a hotel, your kids are going to talk about that was the coolest thing to stay in that train. Like they're not going to make that statement about a regular hotel. And I'm not bashing regular hotels. I stay in hotels all the time, but there's just something to be said about staying in a unique place like this train car. Who is this Airbnb for? This is absolutely perfect for the solo traveler who wants to get outside of town a little bit, maybe retreat for work or personal hobbies like writing or anything like that that you wanna just take a little retreat for. Absolutely perfect for that. Or for the couple who wants, 
maybe some space to themselves, something a little bit more intimate, romantic. Um, also perfect for families who have kids, particularly small kids who would think a train is super cool. Uh, maybe they want to learn about trains or you want to teach them about trains um, or you just want something that's just more special and unique than a regular hotel room. With that being said, here's a few important notes. These stairs at the front and back of the train are the only way to get in and out of the caboose. So if you do need a ramp or wheelchair assistance, this probably would not be for you. If you're booking an Airbnb because you want to have a kitchen to make your own food, just note this is your only real cooking source. There's like a toaster oven and a microwave, but the grill is the main way that you would cook your food. You do have to bring your own charcoal, but if you like grilling like us, then that's perfect. There is only one bed. It's a queen size bed, which makes it perfect for one or two travelers, but there's also plenty of space for a couple of twin air mattresses or small cots if you brought kids with you. I recommend bringing your own toiletries like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, that sort of thing. But unlike most Airbnbs we've stayed in, they do provide some. One thing I also keep thinking about that this would be absolutely perfect for is if you were a homeschool family. I used to be a teacher, so my brain just thinks like this, but if you were homeschooling and you were not stuck to one specific location and you were learning about trains or anything about history in which this fit, this would be the perfect place to come for a little getaway and you can make it educational and super fun. Also, the owners are fantastic. They've been available for anything we've needed. We haven't had any issues, but they would be there if we needed them for something. And before we got here, they were always willing to answer any questions we had in a very timely manner. All right, time to leave. I don't wanna go. We have to. No, I wanna stay here. Stay. Bye, train. Bye, train. This is my favorite Airbnb we've ever been to. Are you coming to Wait, me? wait, wait for me. <laughs> Back to the camper van. If you're coming to Eureka Springs, first of all, Eureka Springs is awesome. And you should check out our other videos on Eureka Springs for things to do. But you should stay here. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you want to see more unique accommodations, go ahead and click this playlist. And if you'd like to book your own stay at this Airbnb, see the description below.